everyone! Today's video will be all about my current computer organization system and filing system as well. First of all, I'm going to show you what I have in my dock. So I'm currently using Safari, Microsoft Word for Notes, and Microsoft Excel for any kind of graphs I need to do, Final Cut Pro for editing my videos, Affinity Photo for editing thumbnails and other overlays, which is a cheaper alternative to Photoshop. Spotify, of course, then MoneyWiz, which is the app I'm using to, to manage my finances. And also on my desktop, you can see multiple files and folders as well. And these are all currently workable files. So these are drafts for final papers I have to turn in as well as final syllabus and note batches for my future exams that are coming up very shortly. So I usually keep off these documents on my desktop so they are the first thing I see when I get to my computer. I know I need to work on them so I won't forget that these are priority tasks. I also keep folders with printables that I currently need to print for class. For example, here I have petroleum transactions law printables, as well as a shortcut for my main folder for my LLM degree. I also have some text law cases that I also need to work on. So as you can see, basically, my desktop is like a mind map, a visual place where I put everything I need to work on so I won't forget if they're hidden in particular folders or another uh, directory. In the upper corner of the screen, in the taskbar, I have my Mate app, which is a translator. Very useful in class since I'm Portuguese and I'm taking English classes. And also when I'm writing papers, sometimes I prefer to have um, I prefer to find a quick translation from a Portuguese word I know and then translate it into English. And here I have a very, very efficient um, Instacall app, which is a small calendar that you can pin to the, your taskbar. And it basically has all of your synced calendars from your Google Calendar, your iCal app, which comes in your Mac. And it's synchronized with multiple calendars. You can color code each task or each event. It supports multiple months. You can customize the layout of the app as well as create tasks in this small app instead of having to open up your iCal app or using your iPhone to create another task or another event. Then I have an app called Dr. Clean, which is basically a maintenance um, app where I can see CPU usage, junk files, memory usage. This really comes in handy when I'm editing raw footage or when I need to see if my computer is acting up. And then in my finder I want to show you how I organize my master's degree main folder. So basically I prefer this like column view to understand the hierarchy between my different folders and my different files. So inside my LLM main folder, I have general documents, legislation, this is my Excel spreadsheet for my GPA calculation, margin note files, all of my subjects, as well as writing resources. In the general documents, I have things like acceptance forms, uh, regulations, then in legislation, I have different PDF files for different statutory rules or European legislation that I use while in class. Margin Notes folder is where I have my PDFs with my Margin Notes documents, which is a program I'm not currently using as often as I wanted to use. Then my writing resources are things like how to write a comparative analysis. I have other, I had other few documents in here, but not anymore. And then inside my subjects folder, I have it divided in terms. So I'm currently in my second term and I have numbered the classes in order of the date where I'm taking the classes. So my first class was tax law and my last class will be international taxation. Inside each one of those subjects, I have different organization methods. It can be divided by professor, by number of class, and most of these will have a folder specific for my final paper or my final exam, where I download all of the kind of papers, materials, resources I need for that final exam or paper. For example, in this particular class, I was trying to pick between two different topics, a topic of sexual harassment, 
as well as the topic of the Let the Buyer Beware principle, so I downloaded very different files. And then I color-coded those files according to the degree of usefulness they would have in my final paper. I always try to number my files, so for example, for some specific classes I like to print my materials and bring them with me to class. And to print them easily and by order, I prefer to number them, so I number each file specifically so I know that when I'm printing it, I will be able to order the documents according to the specific order they need to have. And also in my desktop, I color code my files according to whether they are in progress, they're completed, or if they're like empty files that I've, I haven't even touched yet. I'd also like to show you my YouTube folder and how I actually organize my work on YouTube. So I have a documents folder which has agreements, contracts for sponsored videos, a final folder with all of my final versions for all of my videos, an Instagram folder with all the pics, uh, the raw unedited pics that I upload on Instagram, and projects which have all the months, and then each month has all the videos that were published that month, as well as that color code system, uh, if they are in progress, if they're completed, etc. As you can see, here's my computer organization that has the screen captures of what I'm actually doing right now while I'm filming this. So I try to organize it as best as I can to quickly upload it on Final Cut. I also have things like backgrounds and textures, templates, free music, fonts, overlays, plugins, sound effects, and those are all filed under a general folder called video assets, which are basically resources that I need to have while I am editing on Final Cut Pro. So I like to have my videos as neat and as um, I like my videos to match one another. I'm also currently using uh, an application called Setup, which I've talked about in the past, which is basically a subscription service that allows you to install different kinds of applications uh, without having to pay for individual apps, you basically pay, um, if you can, um, a student discount price for each month. I, I think it's like $4 a month and you have access to, I mean, dozens and dozens of apps like productivity apps, maintenance, task management, writing and blogging, education. Some of these apps are really expensive. For example, Xmind is worth like $100. Um, and this video is actually not sponsored by Setup. I've promoted them in the past, but it's a service that I started to use after I knew about them. And I think it really makes the difference uh, when it comes to maximizing your computer for productivity because they always have new apps coming out every week. So you can constantly uh, be able to experiment with different things without having to compromise to buy a new app every time you want to find out if you like a new calendar, a new um, email, um, a new email app. So as you know, I'm using Safari. I've always used Chrome when I was on a Windows PC, but on this Mac, I really prefer to use Safari. Regarding extension, my Safari is pretty minimal. I only have Pocket and Grammarly installed. And Pocket is a lifesaver for me since it's an extension that allows me to save different snippets of information like recipes, interesting articles, things that I want to read uh, in the future and, uh, and that I stumble across upon in the web. I don't have time to read them now, so Pocket automatically stores all of these snippets of information, organizes it, and then I just need to access my extension and go through all of those kinds of things that I've stored. And of course, I also use a lot of Grammarly because I need to send tons of different uh, business emails on a day-to-day -day basis. I also work on my blog, so I usually write my blog posts in the blog editor, so Grammarly um, will update my grammar, my spelling, my vocabulary while I'm writing, so it's really useful to have. So I think this is it, guys. Um, this is all for my computer organization. I really hope you've enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye!